Silver medal, come back just a couple of years later and represented again with a gold medal in the 50 fresh goes. 300 points is compared to the world record time, which is 1000 points. So, I think I'm going race against the world record. And I know you were young, you made your first team at 16 going to Beijing. You were young, but at 12, you had no chance against the world, against the world record. It's a, it's a hard mark for these girls to be trying to go against. I was nowhere near a world record at 12. It's, 16, it's absolutely crazy to think, yeah, I broke my first world record at 16 in the 50 metres backstroke. So that was a good year for me. Made my first Olympic team, broke my first individual world record. So, I mean, these girls, these girls are 14 to 15. This is your 50 metre breaststroke multi-class. This one's going to be a good one to watch, Brayden, isn't it? We've got some great swimmers in here, Gillespie, Chris. Obviously, we're looking at those middle markers, but it's really anyone's game. Yeah, we, as we keep reminding everyone listening and watching the nine now coverage of the Gold Coast Aquatic Centre, when it comes to multi class swimming, it doesn't matter who touches the wall first. It all comes down to the all important point score at the end. I'd be keeping an eye out on Crumpton down the land on the SB6 athletes. So for SB6 athletes and below, this is a Paralympic event, which actually means that this world record is probably more competitive. But as we saw from Mia Hogan in the 12 to 13 years, these girls aren't scared of world record time. They want to throw down the fastest time they possibly can. So keep an eye for the middle markers, but do not be counting your chickens until the results become official and hatch we see who's going to win the gold, silver and bronze, 14 to 50 years girls, 50 meter restaurants. that did not face them at all. Oh, they would have watched that first heat and been inspired and motivated to do the same as Mia Hogan. As we see Summer Sky Chris swimming at a rapidly looking very strong in lane four. Fantastic breaststroke technique. Nice high stroke rate, looking strong. She's been doing this for a couple of years. You can just tell Em. She's got a well and truly touch the ball first. Now to keep reminding, not who touched the ball first, but obviously you do want to touch that wall first too. You want to get to that wall. You want to get the best time out of yourself. And Chris takes it out with a 35-5-2, which is a great swim for her. Out in lane number four, faster than this morning's heat, which we love to see. And we're waiting to see what the highest point score will get out of this one. Gillespie, the S8, SB8 athlete in lane three. I think that was, I got a couple of cheers from the crowd. You could, you could probably hear it through the stream across the nine now. She had a couple of cheers, obviously a much loved person at the Gold Coast Aquatic Centre, swimming out of Narrabeen. Keep an eye on Gillespie as we see lane nine touching the wall there, our SB6 athlete in Crumpton. Great swim there, all smiles out there in lane three. We love to see the smiles. It all, if, as a coach, you think they'd be upset because I never smiled up the race, I was always 
half vomiting over the land rope there, Em. But look at lane three, all smiles, thumbs up. Oh, I think Gillespie knows she did something special there as the results become official. And she does know that she did a great job in that. 332 for that point score.
gets the touch. Sophie Crumpton from Central Cairns finishes strong. And a big smile for the crowd. Scores are being locked and loaded. Calculated as we speak. Early look says Gillespie. Oh.